Hi crafty friends and welcome back to Tag Time Tuesday. Now today we're going to be making these like specimen tags. Um, now this has got an acetate uh, window in it which I don't know about you I get lots of these stickers. I've ordered some of these from Timu or um, those kind of sites and they come with a clear backing on them so I thought how could we use these and I thought this was the perfect way to use them. So you've got your acetate on here and obviously when the sticker stuck on there it just looks like a window and obviously with a couple of stickers on here this tag i made before is slightly bigger than i'm going to make because um i just think the size is a little bit too big so when i make these they're going to be a different kind of size so the first thing you need is um a six by six piece of paper or any scrap of the piece of paper you've got i'm trying to use some six by six pads up at the moment um, and it can be single sided because the other side of this is exactly the same paper um so it looks both good on both sides so let's have a little look I'm going to go with this nice let's see, what's that? purple paper. Oh, it's a nice bluey colour actually. So, pull yourself out one piece of 6x6 six six paper and you need to cut two pieces at two and a half inches by four inches. So, two and a half. Two and a half, and then both those down at four inches. Now, if you cut these together, you will make sure that your pieces of paper are exactly the same size. Just make sure they're obviously nicely lined up in your trimmer. One of these is not two and a half inches. No. And then cut down at four. And there we go. So this is going to be our tag size. Now what you need to do is make sure your paper's the right way up you want it on your um, tag. And then you put them so the paper shows on both sides. Okay, so it shows nice on this side and nice on this side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run mine through my Gemini Mini. If you haven't got a die cutting machine obviously you can draw a template on here and then cut this out by hand but I've got this little kind of like rectangular die so I'm just going to pop that on there and just pop that through my machine. And doing this together will ensure that obviously when you go to stick these together, the hole is in exactly the right place for both pieces of card. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a piece of acetate and I've cut that just so it fits on the same size as this piece as the window here. Now before you stick this down, um, obviously I'm going to want that on, I want my window on the right hand side, so I'm going to stick it on this piece here. And I also need to make sure that I stick my um sticker on first that way if there's any little excess pieces sticking out the side they go behind your window now here's the fun part trying to get the backing off them there we go so think about where your window is going to go so that's going to sit there so my sticker to go directly in the middle. Okay. If it does do that, you can obviously just pull it up. It's just um, crumpled a bit in the middle. And just give that a really good push down. So now when my window goes over the top, it doesn't matter there's little gaps on the side. So once you've done that, you can stick your acetate down. So just run a bead of glue around the edge and then pop that on. Get making sure that lines up. And then the next thing you're going to do is just put glue all over your second piece and then pop that over the top to seal the two pieces of card together.
No, what's unhappy with that? Pop that down. There we go. So I'm just going to very quickly ink the edge of this now. And I'm just going to use a Distress Ink. So just very slightly on the top and then round the edges. There we go. I'm just going to corner around this. You don't have to corner around it, obviously you want to keep yours And it's a sharp corner you can. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an eyelet in the top here. So just pop a circle where that's going to go. And then pop an eyelet in. I'm going to use a nice gold one today. I think putting an eyelet in always just finishes that card off. Makes it look a little bit special. So, once you've made the basis of your um, tag, it's then time to decorate. And obviously you can decorate this however you want. So with mine, I'm just going to pop some, I think I'm going to have some lace across the bottom here. So just cut a little bit longer than you need it. I'm going to use my all-purpose glue. So just put some of that down there. And I'm just going to pull that over the edge just a little bit because I can just cut that off once that's dried. There we go. And then I've got my box of all my Tracy Fox labels in it. So I'm just going to choose a couple of those to pop on here as well. So I'm going to have a nice thin one on the side. And I might just pop a little number or something at the top. Need to actually print some more of these off. I've been using this quite a lot lately. There we go. And I've just got some twine here, which I'm just going to cut, double up, and then pop that through the eyelet at the top. And that's how quick and simple these are to make. Really nice, easy little um, task, craft task. Lost my scissors now. right in front of me <laughs> there we go and obviously when this dries i will cut that side of the glue off so i'm just gonna make another one to just show you how nice quick and easy that is so again choose some of the card might get this nice bright pink so first of all we cut our card So we had two and a half inches we need two of those and then four inches long there we go. And obviously keep those little bits for your scrap box and the little bits that were cut out of the middle when I cut that out, I'm also going to keep those in my scrap box as well. Okay, so make sure that they're back to back with the pattern either side. Pop in our little machine. These are very handy. It's um, suctioned as well, so it sticks to whatever surface it's on. So line those up. 
and pop your window in. I'm going to do it the other side this time. Really make sure they're aligned and then make sure that's obviously straight. So pop those out and obviously those little bits you can keep. These are really good to put um, sentiments on if you're a card maker. Pop that out of the way. So again, just going to cut your piece of acetate. And this time, because it's pink on the outside, I'm going to have some nice pink flowers in the middle. Choices, choices. As a single rose, and these are great when you buy them off TV. You'll get absolutely loads of flowers in there. So again, backing off this, and there we go, and pop that nice and central. A really good push down and obviously I want that on this side this time so pop my glue around the edge just to hold that in place make sure it goes on nice and straight there you go so while that's holding let's pop glue on the other side Forever dropping things at the minute. There we go. And then just line those up again nicely and push down. And again, ink the edges. And then just round off those corners if you want to. So these are quite nice things to make in advance if you're doing um, a journal to kind of have in your stash. Ready to pop in those pockets. Think my um, corner round is due for a sharpen with some tin foil. There we go. That's good. So next thing was hole in the top. Let's put a little eyelet through. And I'm going to go for a nice rose gold this time. Go in with the pink. And then just pop off a piece of twine to just pop through the top there. There we go. Um, I think I might have some blue across the bottom to pick up these blue parts in here. I'm just going to cut that again just a little bit bigger. And again, pop that wet glue on. Back to my box of tricks. So nice long one down the side again. And 
and the little one at the top. I've um, printed these onto sticker paper so it's just easier to just pop them on as stickers. There we go. So I'm just going to trim this one off. Now that's dried. And there we go. So that's our first one. And just trim this one down. And there we have it. So nice, easy specimen tags to make really super quickly. And these can be popped in your journals um, to make them in your pockets. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're having a lovely week. And I'll see you again next week for Tag Time Tuesday. Bye.